Warning, this video will inspire you to take action in your own life and with your team. Have you ever worked on a project or in an organization and you found the work incredibly frustrating or draining? You're not alone. And today I wanna to present a new assessment that I think can help clarify why some work is so fulfilling and other work is so draining. I've never seen an assessment tool like this that is so simultaneously simple and actionable. And I cannot wait to share it with you right now. Patrick Lencioni and The Table Group have created an assessment tool called Working Genius. And I find this brilliant because it forces you to focus on the process of work, the process of getting an assignment or a task done from idea to completion. And it helps you understand your role in that process and what you're best suited for and what you find most fulfilling. In the Working Genius framework, you'll find there are six parts to the process of work, two of which are your working genius, the parts of the process that you will find fulfilling, that you are naturally gifted and skilled in. Another two of them you'll find are your working competency. These are areas where, you know what, you're proficient in them, you can do them, they don't energize you, they don't fulfill you like when you're working within your working genius. Two others yet are your working frustration. These are the ones that when you're forced to live in your working frustration, it's draining. It's not that you're incapable of working in them or doing them, but they're not your strong points. And you'll find that there's they're just a, a frustration there. So let's break down the six types of working geniuses. And they are all geniuses. They're all important and significant. The first one is wonder. This is the person who is like an idea machine. They can sit back and just wonder, what if we did this what what could we do to solve this problem and, and ideas kind of flow naturally from them it's an incredibly important part of the process because if you don't have an idea you don't have anything to work on the second one is invention this is someone who can take an idea and creatively figure out a way to implement it or find creative solutions to difficult problems. This is the person who is like, hey, I believe this is the best way to go about accomplishing this purpose, to go about uh, fulfilling this idea. The third part of the working genius is discernment. This is someone who can hear the idea, hear the uh, invention or the way we're wanting to implement it and almost intuitively know if it's a good idea or not. This is important because there's a lot of ideas in the world. And if you get to work on a bad idea, then you're wasting your time. So we need someone to be like, that's a good idea and that's a bad idea. And some people just gut instinct. They may not even be able to tell you why they believe it's a good idea or a bad idea, but they have that gift of discernment. Other people have the same gift and they'll give you 25 reasons why it's a good idea or a bad idea. But regardless of how it presents itself, it's incredibly important. The next one is galvanizing. This is the person and the part of the process that's able to get everyone on board the vision. We know where we're going, we know what we're trying to accomplish, and this person is going to get people on board, going to motivate and encourage people and keep them working towards the goal. An example of galvanizing would be what I'm doing right now. I believe in this working genius framework, and so I'm wanting to get you on board with this process because I believe it can help you work more efficiently and more satisfactory. The fifth step in the six step process is enablement. This is the person who you can communicate what to do and how to do it, and they're going to do it. They're gonna move forward and work hard to execute your vision. The sixth step is tenacity. This is the person who has the gift of getting it done. They're gonna work on the idea, they're gonna work on the project, and they're not gonna stop working until it is Finish. Come on, somebody. Let's work until it's done. Now, in a moment, I'm going to share with you the results of my assessment and how I'm working to apply it to my life. But first, if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And I would love for you to let me know in the comments, what part of the working genius framework are you relating to most right now? For me, my results almost go directly in order from my frustration to my genius. My working frustrations were wonder and invention. And I can see this looking back on my life when I'm put in a position or a place where I'm required to create big ideas and, and solve problems creatively. I don't excel there. 
Now, am I capable of, of big ideas? Am I capable of wonder and invention? Of course I am, but I, I can't just do it as a part of my every single day, every moment on the drop of a dime. It's not my gift, it drains me, and it's a working frustration. Such an appropriate name for the weak areas, working frustration, I love that. The next two for me are my working competencies, discernment and galvanizing. And I would venture to say that galvanizing is maybe a little higher than discernment if I were to rank them, but they're both working competencies. They're both areas that I'm okay at. I mean, if you're still watching this and you're compelled by this idea, then I'm doing an okay job at galvanizing right now. And finally, my working genius is enablement and tenacity. I really thrive when I have clear boundaries. I understand exactly what I'm supposed to do and how to get it done. And my tenacity really enables me to get it done. Now, I truly believe that an organization, a team, a ministry needs all six of these working geniuses. If you're really, really high in wonder, invention, and discernment, but you have very little galvanizing, enablement, and tenacity, you're gonna find that your organization has a lot of big ideas but nothing ever actually gets done. They don't come into fruition. In the same way, if you have high uh, enablement and, and tenacity and, and galvanizing, but very little wonder, invention, and discernment, well, you might be getting a, a lot of things done and accomplished, but they're probably the wrong things. They're not moving the needle. It's not growing the ministry. It's not growing the organization. You really need all six types of working genius. Two things you could do right now. Number one, you can go to workinggenius.com and take the assessment right now. The cost is $25, which I think is incredibly cheap and cost effective for you and for your team. So you could go there and take the assessment right now. Number two, you could go and listen to the At The Table podcast where they talk about this. And I recommend that you do. It's so cool hearing it from their words, hearing them present these ideas and the stories behind where this came from and how they are implementing it and how it's affecting even their own organization. and. If you listen to that podcast, you may even find a discount code. At the time of this recording, the code is still active and working. I don't know how long it will be working, but that discount code allows you to purchase the assessment for half price, which if my math is correct, and it is, uh, only $12.50 for the Working Genius Assessment. I truly believe this will be a blessing to you. So if you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.